What's up, everyone? Already live after a Banter Blitz Cup match. I was uh, I was following and I was actually uh, scheduled to uh, stream at 8 p.m. tonight. And uh, last minute, I find out that there is a Banter Blitz Cup match. Well, priorities, right? Uh, I guess uh, a patcher like me or Dominguez playing you gotta let Mr. Dominguez play if he's scheduled to play at eight. So uh, congratulations to Dominguez who just uh, won his Blender Blitz Cup uh, match. I was following uh, half and half. Uh, I was just preparing for uh, for my banter here. So glad to be with you guys. 9.25 p.m. This is the latest I have uh, started a banter at uh, here in Montreal, 9.30 p.m uh eastern time that means it's uh probably around 3 or 4 a.m in europe maybe some people will wake up maybe some people are not yet asleep who knows but uh here to have uh, fun with you guys if you guys are watching from youtube please come join the party on twitch or uh chess 24 if you guys were on twitch and were following the previous match welcome to uh to my banter blitz here i don't know if the promo code of tata still is uh, still going on but we got a nice promo code here bishop h6 save 15 percent on the premium memberships and if you are a premium member uh you can definitely send your challenge to me five minutes three minutes it's up to you guys i have a feeling it's going to be a little bit more quiet tonight since we are starting at a uh, very late time I uh, don't have a challenge yet, so that's why I'm still uh, speaking to you guys. Worst case, I just uh, jump in, into the pool and uh, try to look for, uh, for a match. And uh, this is what I'll do, I think. I will just uh, jump into the pool, look for a three-minute game, uh, just to start off this uh, banter. And uh, hopefully, I get someone who wants to play. Whoa! Okay, 2,900. It's going to be rough. It's going to be rough, but uh, okay. So first match of the day, 2,900, 2,946. Uh, this, is, uh, this is no passer. This is a good player. So let's, uh, let's try to, uh, to beat him. He is from Spain, so hopefully he is tired. Hopefully the middle of the night for him. Uh, maybe he's already asleep and not, uh, not playing against me. I'll uh, just abort the game and... Uh, Let's look for someone who challenges. Koopy. All right. I had a feeling uh, Koopy would challenge because he's in the chat. Is uh, Mr. Undisputed here too? All right. Chessman 1963. I feel that we're going to have a totally different crowd tonight. So Koopy, have I played him twice so far? Okay. Twice so far. So he goes for this line over here. Uh, F3. F3 castles. Queen d2, I think I can go d5 right away. And I think he lost uh, a tempo compared to the normal variation in the dragon in which uh, I played d6 and d5. Now I got to play d5 in, uh, in one move, which uh, should benefit me. Uh, Bishop here, I don't like this move too much because he's giving me, uh, giving me this at, at the very least. If I take this, he has to take with the pawn. Queen here, bishop d4, e5, bishop e3, e4, bishop d4. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I think I can take here and play queen a5. It looks super dangerous for him. Uh, I actually don't like his game. Can I just go here? Is he... Uh, I think he's close to loss here. After, after this move, I'm threatening uh, to play e5. Uh, his bishop is pinned. It, it is definitely not pleasant uh okay so where is the mate here check here check here or should i just go here i guess this is the safest option i'll just win the bishop right away and uh i don't see a, a way for him to uh to survive this it's uh really tough i mean he's probably gonna have to give up a queen against uh a rook Otherwise, I'm just taking here. I'm keeping my super nice dark square bishop. Z Nation, good to see you. Good to see you, Mr. Z Nation. Please uh, don't be shy to challenge. Undisputed is challenging. 
All right, so let's do it. Um, let's play e4 against him. Okay, we have played six times so far. Let's see what he's got against uh, the move e4. Okay, it's gonna be Sicilian. Uh, okay, let's play again this this one. Let's play this one to to see what he's got. Basically, I'm threatening to play d4, and I know some some guy fell into this trap last time. Was it him? We'll see if he learned from his mistake. But basically, if he takes a half queen a4 check, okay, he he goes e6. I'm probably just gonna castle here. And I cannot play d4 right away, so I'm just gonna go here, rook e1, probably bishop f1, and just go d4, something like this. And I guess I will have a nice pawn structure. Okay, he goes here, I'm probably gonna go uh, e5. Knight here, I can play bishop d3 at the very least. Um, bishop d3, or do I want to... Bishop d3 looks so simple. I'm forcing f5. Knight g5, I might have some sack on h7. Uh, it's really tempting. Should I do it or should I not? I have this at least with uh, this and that. Uh, wait a sec. Queen h5, h6, it doesn't work. I could just play f4, I guess f4 followed by f5 or even queen f3 g4 f5 um his bishop is kind of awkward as well so i think he has to go bishop e7 here bishop h6 i don't know his bishop is kind of awkward there so i think he has to go bishop e7 and then uh, okay bishop here i can at least play queen h5 but there's g6 okay i'm just gonna play g3 and then simply queen f3 Knight c6 here. Okay, he goes here. I can probably go g4, but uh, I'm just going to go knight c3, I guess. Uh, knight c6, bishop here, queen b6, uh, queen f2. And uh, this is well defended. I can put my rook to d1. Uh, but here, I think I'm just going to go g4 and, and try to steamroll him. Um, bishop h4, I'll just move my rook somewhere. Not too worried about it. And I think f5 is coming. That's the most important thing. I, if I can get f5 in, it is super dangerous for, for him. Zia, what's up? Zia Linden. What, where are you guys from? It's crazy that you're not asleep. Okay, let's go here. Um, not before, okay, queen here. He wants to play bishop here. This is really cute. Uh, so let's just move the rook somewhere. Let's say here. Let him play bishop h4. I'll move back here. Yeah, move back here. And if he goes here, oh, he goes here. So I think f5 is really strong here. Uh, I got some mating ideas. If he takes everything, I got knight d5 at, at the end. And here, I think I'm just going to go here. And there will be some sacks. I don't know how yet, but there will be some sacks. So queen h3, I'm intending to play bishop h6. Um, and I really don't know how he's getting out of this uh he goes here could i just play knight a4 looks good enough attacks the queen and defends uh defense b2 queen b5 can i go bishop here i guess i can this is defending that if he takes i take and a threat mate and uh, if he takes the knight i'll just take the bishop Okay, he goes here, just go here, and this is GG. Good game, Mr. Undisputed. Good game. Oh, Zia is in Illinois, Central Time, 8.30. <laughs> still, uh, still very early. Chessman, it's pattern recognition. Yes, I see the mating, mating patterns. I've done my share of giving mate, and I've done my share of receiving mates. <laughs> Num2300 wants to play. Let's uh, let's do it. Okay, we've played once so far. So I'm going to stick to uh, normal openings here. I won't, uh, won't risk anything by playing e4. All right, let's just go play here. And I guess I'll play my pet line with uh, f3. This is an interesting line. f3, c5, I think I have to go d5. 
b5, I think it's e4, but uh, my memory is pretty bad at those lines. Takes, I think I take here, and then am I supposed to play knight f3? Or am I just losing a piece at some point? Yeah, this is very complicated. Maybe it wasn't such a great idea to play this. Uh, what is he going to do here? Bishop c5? Can I play here? Knight c7? Uh, a3? Am I going to lose a pawn? Uh, what's a good move here? I don't know what I'm doing. I feel that I'm going to lose a pawn. I don't like what's coming. Okay, knight c7. Do I have to play e6? Yeah, this is pretty annoying. I think I'm losing a pawn here. Um, it's a little unpleasant, to be honest with you guys. It's a little unpleasant. So if he takes, I got d6 though. Okay, let's play here. Takes, 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 d6. Takes here. Bishop takes. Okay, obviously he doesn't do it. Um, now, if I play king here takes d6 yeah let's just go here bishop b7 yeah he's simply gonna be uh up some material here this is a little bit annoying so i, I guess i'm gonna be down uh down the pond not looking great not looking great uh so can i play knight d4 bishop here bishop here knight takes pawn takes Okay, let's take here. This is a rough start to a banter, guys. Rough start. Okay, let's go here. Okay. So I'm down. I don't know how many um, how many pawns. After a very bad opening, should have studied chess. Didn't study chess, and I might drop. This is the game. In which I might drop under 3000. Unfortunately, queen d5, rook here. He has, oh no, I don't have to defend this yet. Uh, do I go a4? Doesn't look good, doesn't look good at all. So I'm down two pawns here. Down two pawns. Is he gonna play rook here? I gotta create some threat here. So let's go queen c3. Maybe regroup with rook f2 or something. I gotta create something. I gotta play fast too. <coughs> gotta play fast too. Okay, he goes here. I'm gonna go here. Uh, f6, I gotta go here. I'm losing so bad this game. Uh, okay, let's go here. I don't think I have anything smart to play. He goes here. Let's trick him into taking here, maybe. Although I don't think he will uh, fall into this trap. Okay, let's go here. Let's hope that he takes my rook and plays rookie one check and drops a rook. Or he can even take, oh man, he can even play queen takes and then probably made it. Yeah, this is really beautiful. I'm even gonna think I'm gonna allow him to mate me. Because it is so beautiful. All right, here goes my 3000. It hurts. 2983. Ah, oh, nice game, Num. Very, very bad game. All right, Dim Knight. Let's climb back to 3000. This hurts so bad. I got my friend, Phil the Master, trolling in the, in the chat. Phil the Master is a very well known keyboard warrior. If you. Um, if you know his real name, you can find him on uh, on Facebook. He's the number one troll online, and he's uh, one of my favorite. So if you guys ever see Phil the Master on Facebook, he's always picking out some fights and triggering people. Okay, knight b6. Can I play knight f4, or maybe just b5? Okay, let's play b5. Okay, takes, takes, all right. All right. I mean, I'm a bit sad that I'm dropping under 3000, but it's really nothing new and I'm really used to it. So 
it's not that big of a deal. Uh, do I play knight here? How do I uh, get rid of this knight? This knight is a little bit annoying. Can I play e4? Can I play e4? Maybe I can. Maybe I can play e4. So if he takes here, then I take the bishop and I take this, and I win a knight. If he takes here, I take the knight. So I think this is fine. Uh, knight here, I think I'm definitely going here. So the question is, do I trade and play f4? I think it makes sense. Let's play f4. c5, I go queen f3, and I target uh, target this pawn over here. Uh, he takes here. Let's. Uh, can I take here? I think I can take here. Knight takes, queen takes, and I think the, fall, the, the pawn is really uh, fragile here. All right, so is there any danger? Can I safely take this? Or should I safely take this first? And maybe just take uh, take here, prevent rook c2. Now I definitely want to trade queens in this position. So queen h4, okay, queen b7. I'm not sure this is a great move because it pins the knight. Can I just play e6 or knight f5? Knight f5 looks like a good move. Threatening knight e7 check, along with a lot of threats. Um, it is not easy for him to deal with the whole thing. I, I'm, I'm playing rook d1 next. A lot of back rank mates. Let's see what happens. He goes here. Uh, do I have any mating nets? Uh, let's go rook d1 or he's going to play knight here. But then maybe queen d7. Queen b6 check, just king h1. Threatening the rook. Knight e7 check is coming. I like uh, how my pieces are lined up here. So let's go queen d7. Uh, queen d6 check. I'm going to go in the corner. Now the rook is under attack. And now he might have some issues. Now he might have some issues. Should I play knight here? Uh, what's going on here? Or should I play check? Okay, let's play check. Uh, queen c6 looks good. Or should I just free? Should just free my king first. Knight e3. Uh, can I play knight here? I think this is good enough. Forcing a, a trade, and then I can take back with the queen, and the queen is defending a2, which is pretty useful. Uh, okay, let's go here. Defend everything. Now, let's go here, and maybe queen f2 next. Yeah, let's play queen f2. Let's take this free pawn. Come back here. f5, maybe f6. Queen f4 looks good. Uh, let's play rook here, and maybe collect the pawn over here. I'm starting to run low on time, though. I gotta be really careful about any nonsense flag here. F6 looks good. Okay, let's go here. If he takes, I got rook g4 check, which should lead to mate. So let's go here, threatening mate. G6, queen h6. And I think I got mate. That was a really good game by Dim Knight. Is it the first time I play him? No, I played him four times, but it's definitely his best game. Wow, that was really close. Good game, Mr. Uh, Dim Knight. Undisputed is asking, why couldn't he take the rook with the knight earlier? Uh, because his queen was hanging. Undisputed, are you talking about this position here? So when I play knight d5, I am attacking his, uh, his knight. And Undisputed is saying that I probably lost because I was not wearing the FFL shirt. Yeah, that's quite possible. But, uh, you know, after a while, you got to wash your... Uh, you do, you got to do some laundry. And uh, this shirt is uh, has been washed and uh, will be worn again. Uh, referring to the new famous 
effing legend shirt that I was wearing for the past two streams. But uh, hey, got to do some laundry. Okay, 2300. Oh, those guys are dangerous. I just lost to a 2300 today. All right, from Argentina, Grana Blanca. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. All right. I'm going to play... Uh, Chessman1963 is asking Phil who. I won't reveal. You ask Phil the master. If Phil the master wants to reveal his name, he will. Uh, okay, let's go here. Yeah, I know that this line is bad for black, but I keep playing it. I know that somehow it's not good. Can you go see 3d4 here or something? Uh, okay, I don't want him to play e5, so I'm going to play here in knight f6. I got no idea if this is good for me. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. Okay, castles here. And then uh, maybe rook b8. Rook b8, a6, b5 is the idea. I'm going to play on the on the queen side. Uh, I'm going to play b6 first. I don't want him to hit me with, uh, with a5 against a6. So queen here probably. He's, uh, he's trying to mate me here. Or even d5 maybe in this position. Yeah, d5 I feel would have been a better move than a6. So queen h4 I think I'll meet with... Uh, okay, let's let's go d5 here. If I open up the center, I don't think he'll uh, checkmate me. Wow, Radek. One of my uh, students in the high school chess league is uh, in the chat on Twitch. So Radek, thanks for... Uh, Thanks for dropping by. Hope you're gonna enjoy the show from uh, from your coach. So I'm I'm teaching a, I'm coaching a, a school who uh, plays in the high school league, and uh, we won tonight, and we're a four and zero in our regular season. So things are going very well. My students are loving it, and one of them is in the chat on Twitch. So give him some love. Uh, let's play night before over here. Knight b4 is a pretty good move against this structure because um, he committed to play a4 already, so he cannot play c3 anymore. And now I'm going to have some fun. I think I'm going to go e6 first, just to prevent f5. And then I'm going to put my uh, bishop on b7. And it's going to be very hard for him to challenge this bishop uh, once he played bishop b3 and his bishop not being able to uh, to fight on this diagonal here. So uh, rook b1 uh, does absolutely nothing. So I'm just going to play uh, bishop here. Knight here, he probably wants the same idea with knight g5, but then I can hit him with h6. So let's see over here. What are my ideas? I think I'm going to go um, queen over here. I don't want queen d7 because there are some nonsense uh, tactics. So I'm probably going to put my queen here and threat f... Whoa, what? Did I blunder this? Okay, uh, very terrible blunder. And now, now uh, it's not so clear anymore. Now it's not so clear anymore. How did it? Oh my God. I was trying to explain a very positional concept that uh, his knight couldn't go here. And I completely ignored um, the bishop attacking here. So I'm done upon and uh, probably worse in this game against a 2300, which is really disappointing. But I got the bishop pair. And um, worst case, I can, uh, I can play fast and hope that a miracle will happen, uh, which is uh, play faster than him. And I flag him. Uh, this is also possible. We will see what happens. So he takes, I take back, threatening rook d4, attacking a4 and e4. So let's hope that he won't see it. Although against rook d4, he might have uh, rook knight c3 over here. But did he just blunder this pawn? Probably. Uh, because if he plays c3, I at least have bishop a3 and I'm escaping. Uh, is he trying to play g4? I don't think it's a good move. I'm going to play f5 and win his knight. Um... Okay, now my bishop is kind of awkward though. Do I want to play rook d4? Rook d4 looks like a good move. I'm attacking a4. Rook b1, I'm going to escape to a3. And uh, he can't play c3 because I take this pawn for free. I'm also threatening the knight over here. So he has to uh, he has to do something about it. Is it safe to take here or is it dangerous? So if I take here, play c3. If I take here, takes, takes, rook a1. Nah, this is a kind of position in which uh, I don't want to risk anything. So I'm going to play bishop d6. It is very risky to take it. So now now is it a good time to take? 
now I think is a good time to take. If he plays c3, I take. He doesn't, well, I mean, he could take the bishop and then I take the knight. Uh, I didn't see this move, but fortunately for me, I have rook b4. c3, I take the bishop. And if he takes here, I take here. So now I am up a pawn. I just won two pawns after losing one. Or should I say blunder one? But I think everything is good here uh, because I got the bishop versus a knight. Or should I say bishop pair? I got an extra pawn. And uh, this endgame should be very easy to convert. And on, on top of all this, I uh, I got a huge time lead here. Uh, okay, let's take this. And then uh, let's play rook c8. Let's just uh, trade some uh, trade some stuff. Okay, let's play b5. The more we trade, the easier I will win this game. So bishop bishop b4 I think guarantees me another pawn. So he has to move the knight, and then I take here. And that's like two extra pawns, and I should. Uh, should convert this game pretty easily. Uh, so I, I I could play I could play f5, or but c3 is really simple. I'm threatening c2 and bishop a3, so he has to go rook here, and I just uh, I could just run my pawn, or I could do something really mean. I go here, he takes, and I come back, and then he loses the exchange. Uh, he goes here. Can I can I simply go here, or should I just run my pawn? Um, wait a sec. What do I want to do here? I could just run my pawn. I think it's very simple. Well, Phil got me a, a birthday present. This is so nice of you, Mr. Phil. So my birthday coming up next week. Um, it's kind of sad, but uh, <laughs> I'm considering doing a banter for my birthday. I don't know if I'll, if I'll do it yet. I think it's kind of sad if I do a banter for my birthday, but uh, but I might do it. We will see. We will see. Because I'm celebrating during the weekend and my birthday is, is next Tuesday. So we will see what happens. Can I can I safely go here? Take C2. Yeah. I think this is game over. <coughs> yeah, C2 and uh, GG. Uh, okay, let's just move somewhere. It doesn't matter. Then I queen for sure. He can't even uh, sack. I just queen. All right, uh, I think that was a pretty good technical game, despite the horrible blunder on uh, B4. But uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, don't hesitate to send your uh, your challenges. It is a more of a quiet night tonight. So we started at 9.25 uh, Eastern time. So uh, that's pretty late for a lot of people. Of course, if you're from North America, it is, um, it is prime time. But uh, for Europe, it's pretty tough. And I know we have a big crowd watching from Europe. So I think I'm going to jump into the pool and try to find a fish. Try to go fishing for, uh, for some raiding. I think it's much easier to, uh, to play against people from the pool because they don't know I'm streaming. 1-1 one, one against uh, 2,700. Okay. 1-1. One, one. Let's uh, give him a, a chance to play Benoni or something. He's playing super fast. So let's see what he's got. B6, kind of a suspicious move. Uh, can I go just bishop d3 and queen e2 and prevent b5? Probably. Okay, let's go here. He, he's playing so fast. Uh, now, can he take this? Maybe. So let's play rook e1. What's going on here? What's going on here? If you wear a party hat, I'm not really, uh, not much of a hat guy, to be honest. With the hair I have, uh, it's, it's, uh, it doesn't go well with hats. Uh, okay, let's go here. Now I wanna play bishop g5, but uh, there's an annoying queen here, so I will at least take this. Now, I would love to play knight here check, but I can't. So can I play it rook a7? Does it do anything? Maybe. So takes, bishop takes. And then knight takes, bishop takes, and I got some pressure on f7. I don't know if it's enough. But um, 
It's a complicated position. It's a really complicated position. I feel that I'm better because I got all the space, but uh, you never know. You never know. Let's see what happens here. He is taking a, a while here to make his move. Knight e6. What's going on? He wants to play knight d4. I don't have a check here. Oh, check here. Whoa, check here. That's cool. Unless he's playing to me with knight d4. Did he really see this? I would be really impressed. Uh, can I take here? This is so complicated, but I think I can. I'm going to take here. If he takes here, I take back. And then the knight is hanging. And there's no way for the knight to attack my queen. So knight g5 I can take. Knight d8 I can just exchange. Okay, now I'm threatening on the knight. Knight d4. And this is a checkmate, my friend. Wow, seven rating points. Okay, uh, that was cool. That that was cool. Uh, should I should I go? Should I gamble with him? Oh, he doesn't want to rematch. I wanted maybe to uh, to play him again. Uh, okay, still no challenges. So let's uh, let's go back fishing in the pool. I feel that uh, yeah, I feel like like playing against uh, real twenty eight hundreds who don't know I'm streaming. It's easier to uh, get those rating points than playing. Uh, you guys who are completely trolling with those uh, 2100 ratings, but worth 2900. So let's try to beat this guy. Let's try to beat this guy. Okay, F3 Nimzo was terrible earlier. So in case he's watching, I'm not going to repeat the same line. I'm just going to go for something really positional here. Um, okay, takes. I'm going to take back. Knight here. I think it's Queen C2. I think it's Queen C2. And takes like this. And uh, I think, what is it again? Is it f3 or b4? Is it b4 and bishop b2? I, I feel that I have played him. It doesn't, doesn't look like it, but uh, let's go bishop e2 if he takes rook g1 and d5. Okay, let's go here. f3 should be fine. And then maybe d5, e5. Okay, he goes here. I'm definitely going to go here now. Okay, d5. And now I want to go c5. As soon as the knight is gone, I'm playing here. Okay, so he wants to mate me. He clearly wants to mate me. Now the question is, does it work? He wants to play rook here, queen here. But then don't I just have h3? Uh, let's see. If I play here... Can I just play g4? This is a really important moment. If I can play g4, can I hold it with, with g4? Or is it too risky? Or just h3? And then he goes with the knight like this. I don't know what's going on. Whoa, whoa, he can take here. Oh my god, what was that? No, that was terrible. Oh, he didn't see it. So lucky. Okay, I'm running. I'm putting the running shoes and I'm running. Oh, wow. That, that was really a terrible mistake. Almost lost the game right, right there. Okay, so he wants to play... If he wants to play 9h1 and make a draw, I'm not going to allow him. So let's go rook here. Sorry, bishop here. If he takes, it's a really bad move because he's essentially just... Uh, <laughs> essentially just taking the worst piece. Now he wants to play queen here, check, queen here, queen here, maybe. Um, should I just give him an exchange? <laughs> should I just give him an exchange and attack? So if he takes, I take. And then I open up the position for my pieces. Although rook here, queen check, king here, queen here. And then I got queen e1. Let's see if he wants to make a draw first. Okay, no draw for him. Then maybe queen here. 
check. I go, I go king here and then queen e1. Am I okay here? Yeah, let's go queen e1. I feel that if I can deal with the pressure here, I can attack with c5 later. So let's see. I'm not necessarily threatening anything for now. Because if I take, he takes here. He goes here. Do I have g4? Or he wants to go here. Um, knight here. Okay, let's play rook here. It's really weird. It's like if I'm playing like chess 960 or something. This is a really weird position, to be honest with you guys. <laughs> uh, but I think I'm solid. I mean, rook here was a pretty decent move. Uh, he wants to go knight here, maybe. Okay, uh, let's play bishop here. Maybe bishop d3 next. Yeah, let's play bishop d3. Okay, but now the end game is, is pretty good for me. Yeah, now now the end game, the end game is pretty awesome for me because I'm just attacking him. A4, bishop a3. Okay, let's take here. Uh, let's go here. Let's go here. Let's put the running shoes and run. Bishop a3, threatening d6. And I still got a lead on the clock, which is good. Threatening to take in rook c7. Okay, let's go here. I'm going to take back. Let's take this guy. Rook c7, threatening the bishop. Uh, let's take this guy, take this guy. And I think the whole structure falls here. Uh, let's take here. Let's take here. And this should be an easy flag. Uh, and then I, I get this. And this is a win! 3000 wow back to 3000 man this is how you beat uh th th this is how you uh this is how you you get 3000 you beat some 2900s who don't even know you're streaming wow this is really cool you're trolling him with that f h3 fake bait <laughs> wow I, I dropped the pawn but uh wow mr humbert says lol your hair looks like the default profile pic in chess 24 was it on purpose i don't know what you're talking about though which uh, profile pick are you talking about the running shoe strategy says radek oh no 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 radek radek is my student in high school no no don't do like me that was a lucky game uh don't don't put your running shoes uh beginners you gotta you gotta castle and make sure that uh your king is safe there and uh i castle my king was not safe so i had to put the running shoes this is really uh this is really if um, <laughs> if things don't turn out great. Oh, you're talking about the default profile pick. Okay, I see the the blue pick. Yes, maybe maybe it is too much. Yes. All right, back to three thousand by beating a twenty nine hundred. But now you guys are challenging. You guys are trolling me. I gotta gotta play brand, brand master here, who's uh, eighteen hundred, and uh, hopefully I won't lose to him. He's from Australia. Australia. Whoa, is it ten a.m. there? What time is it in uh, in Australia, Mister Brand Master? Okay, let's go here. Uh, let's play normal Sicilian. Okay, let's go here. So we got the classical uh, dragon in which uh, white castles kingside. So I'm going to try to... Uh, Wait a sec, f3 is suspicious. I think I can play d5 right away. Takes, I'm gonna take. Takes, I'm gonna take with the knight. And uh, see what happens. If he plays e5, I play knight d7, followed by e6. 
If he takes, I could take it with the queen, but I want to play for a win. So I'm not going to trade queens against an 1800. I'm just going to push my pawns. Uh, bishop c5, rook e8, bishop d5, bishop d7. This should be okay. Do I play d4 here? Uh, let's just be solid. Bishop e6 makes sense. Uh, maybe queen a5. Followed by rook d8. And then I try to push my pawn uh, to d4. And I think uh, if I push my pawn to d4, it's pretty good. He goes here. Uh, let's uh, let's go here. Queen b3, I got d4. Bishop here doesn't do much. I'm just going to play rook here. S still threatening d4, which is really unpleasant for him. Because if I can take... Oh, I don't like this move. What is he going to do? Like d4? d4, I just take. And d4 is really annoying. I'm literally th uh, threatening to take on c3. And this is pretty tough for him. Uh, the, the pawn is weak here. And uh, bishop b5, can I just play can I just play here? He has some uh, he has some issues here. He definitely has some issues with the pawn on c3. So I see bishop d2 for him. Uh, or queen e4. But wait, doesn't that drop a pawn? I can just take this, no? Take here. Baiting rook c1, so I can trade queens. Hopefully he plays it. Otherwise, my queen is doing good. Uh, the rooks are, yeah. Uh, he took the bait. So now I just got to pass pawn. And there is much, not much he can do to stop this. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of those bishops. Although, whoa, rook c1. Did I blunder? No, did I blunder that? I am so bad at chess. I'm so bad at chess. This is amazing. Oh my god. Takes, rook takes. Okay, let's play h6 first. Oh my god. Okay, let's take this. So I'm down in exchange. That was so bad. Okay, let's go here. Let's, uh, well, you guys know what I'm trying to do here. You guys know exactly what I'm trying to do here. I'm going to put my, no, I wanted to put my bishop so I could, uh, wait a sec. I want to play h, h5. Okay, let's take this. Let's play here. The problem is that he will get to this pawn eventually. He has a minute to do it. Can he do it? That's the question. Um, let's go back. No, this is really terrible chess. Okay, let's go here. Okay, at least if I get my pawn to, uh, to d3, it is a good start. Unless he will bail out for a draw. He doesn't. He doesn't. So let, let's play here. Okay. Let's not give him an option to sack. The problem is that if he sacks, he will have a draw. I'm trying to... Uh, I'm playing for a flag here. Okay. Let, let's try to flag him here. Oh, this is so fortunate. So fortunate. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, now let's go here. I wish he had more time because uh, I would show you guys how to, uh, to mate with two bishops. Or maybe I will do it. Maybe I will do it. Do I have time to mate him with two bishops? No, I don't have time. I don't have time. I wanted to uh, to mate him with two bishops. There you go. Showing you the mate, guys. <laughs> Showing you what would have happened. Oh, man. 
Oh man, Brandmaster, you had me. You had me, you had me, you had me. Uh, I think, well, I mean, it's obvious that you should have beaten me. But I think at some point you have to bail out. So here, uh, in this exact moment, I think you can just sit here and take the draw. Like this is a very easy draw. Uh, what you have to do is just to uh, put your, your king on e2 and just sack the bishop. And then even if I flag you, I'm okay. Uh, because we don't play according to feeder rules. Huh? <laughs> this is a uh, pretty funny, but uh, Carlson Firuja, right? Uh, in this position, technically, technically, black can win according to the feeder rules because uh, the pawn can be promoted to a knight, then the king go, goes to a corner, and then uh, we win. But online, it's not the same. So, uh, yeah, uh, very exciting game. Very exciting game. Charles, Charles Four wants to play 1600. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's have a game. All right. Charles, are you here, Mr. Charles? Okay, let's go here. My bishops were so tricky, indeed. Indeed, they were. Okay, knight of six. And then knight c6. Castles. Charles is going to win, says Phil. What a real troll, this guy. What a real troll. Um, but, I mean, I hope you're wrong, Phil. <laughs> I hope you're wrong. Okay, so bishop c4 was the other line. It's really funny because I think in all my dragon games today I got uh, I got to play with uh, the move d5. Now if he takes, <coughs> what is theory again? If he takes, can I even take here? <laughs> I don't know. Is it too risky? It is probably too risky. Takes, takes, check, he moves the queen. I don't see a checkmate. So if he takes, I am probably gonna take with the queen just so that he doesn't get an endgame and I can uh, try to outplay him tactically. But we will see. We'll see what happens. Okay, let's take here. Uh, and then I want to play a move like bishop f5 and rook c8 if possible. I could also play bishop e6 and uh, try to target his, uh, his structure and his king side. Sorry, his queen side. But let's see what happens. Bishop here, suspicious, very suspicious. Can I go here? Uh, let's try it. Then he has to go something like queen e3. But then bishop f5, it's really annoying for him. I don't think bishop d4 is a good move. I'm just pinning the bishop. Yeah, now I, I go bishop f5, threatening mate. And if he covers with bishop d3, he loses the bishop here. If he plays c3, if he plays c3, um, I might have e5. I might have e5 at the very least. Uh, queen a4 looks really strong too. It threats checkmate and the pawn. So he would have to move bishop d3, but then I can at least capture this. Uh, what else do I have? What is best here? At least, at least e5 is good. Or even queen d5 is really annoying to face. Okay, he goes here, but then I think this is pretty easy. Uh, I can either go queen a4, bishop d3 takes here. I could take and play queen d5 check and take here. I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to play check here. Bishop d3, I might take it first, so he doesn't uh, damage my pawn structure and then take on a2. Um, or I can even take here first and then I take here and then I take here. What is the most precise? Or I take here right away and if he takes, I play check. I think I'm just going to go here. And the issue here is that if he takes with the queen, 
and just take if he takes with a pawn and just take and in any case he can never take e7 because i got a skewer with queen a1 check and i grab the rook on h1 so i think not only i win a pawn but the problem is that uh his king is completely unsafe he can't castle obviously and uh yeah, queen here. I think I play queen here check. He has to play queen here, and then I, I take the pawn. And this is another pawn. Yeah, I just check here. He goes here. I can probably play rook here, although rook here seems even stronger. I'm just winning another pawn, and he has to beg for a queen trade here. And although computer would disagree to trade queens, um, in the context of this game, it really doesn't matter. I can just trade queens and win slowly. Uh, why, why am I saying the computer would disagree is that if I don't trade queens, I probably have a tactical shot which uh, allows me to mate him faster. But in this case, like I said, it doesn't matter what I do. I'm already up uh, a bunch of pawns and I'm about to mate him. If he plays rook here, I got at least rook c2 check, which is very cute. Um... We'll see what happens. I don't even think he's going to find rook d1. He's probably going to play queen f4 or something. But then I play rook c2 check and I probably made him very fast. I just, uh, I'll just attack the pawn on g2. Oh, he found it. Wow. Um, so yeah, I could take the queen, but uh, I want to have fun here. So... If I play queen e2, oh, what am I saying? Rook is pinned. I'm just winning here. Yeah. Uh, good game, Mr. Charles. That was cool. Oh, is it uh, time to go fishing again in the pool? Okay, let's uh, let's get a buffer for my rating. I'm at 3,006 now. 2,600. Chess 24. CH 24. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let's do it. Okay, Benoni, Benko, Benko it is. All right. Okay, a four, a five. Uh, queen b four. I think it's uh, rook a four over here. F four, bishop here, and I think knight f three. And I know I'm supposed to play queen d three very quickly. Castles. And now I think I have to keep um, my pawn on b2. And the reason why is that I want to be able to take back whenever he plays knight b5. So I think a very common idea for black is to go rook b8, knight b5, knight d4. But the way I prevent it is I play bishop e3 here. Uh, rook here. I think I'm going here. And knight b5, well, knight b5, actually, I might take it. I might take it this because my bishop is uh, very well placed on e3. Yeah, so he can't, he has to be very careful here. Uh, is he threatening knight g4? Maybe. So I'm just going to play this, not allow any nonsense with knight g4. I want to play e5, but there's some bishop f5 issues. Rook b4. So now I always have to... Uh, watch any kind of sack uh i don't believe in the sack though unless he's trying to play knight b5 but then can i just takes takes knight takes or can i play e5 here e5 bishop f5 queen e2 i think it looks good um okay queen e2 he has to move the knight away oh knight here i didn't see that this is very unfortunate uh, I didn't see that move. It's a very annoying move to face. Uh, wait a sec. G4, knight here. G4, knight here is, is really a problem. Uh, if he takes, I take back. What if I go here? Okay, let's go here. Preventing knight G3. And I want to go G4. So if he takes, the advantage is that I take back. Okay, good move. Uh, good move by him. Can I take and play knight g5 and e6 or something? Is this good enough? No, I'm losing this pawn. Can I play g4? Wait a sec, can I play g4? 
d4 takes takes this looks good i'm winning a piece no take back take take here so see now he has to sack the exchange i could even take here and play f6 or something but uh let's not let's not go crazy here and just uh bank this uh this exchange um knight g5 is a possibility knight g5 looks good maybe followed by king g3 and try to mate him or something king g3 and put my both my rooks on the h file is a crazy idea but i might do it if he takes i also have bishop takes c5 okay he goes here threatening this over here so let's uh let's play rook d2 running low on time too so i gotta be careful gotta be careful uh, okay let's go here i think that was a mistake d5 takes ah oh, no, no this is risky i don't know why i did that okay let's take here and now this game is out of control now um okay let's take this let's not allow some counterplay although i already did i don't like what i'm doing here okay, let's go here ah i really don't like what i did what a silly mistakes uh okay let's go back here yeah this game is completely slipping out of my hands my g5 i don't know what i'm doing here i'm in time pressure and i gotta move gotta move really quickly let's go here let's go here he can take here maybe this looks bad i'm gonna have to move really quickly here let's take this okay uh let's go here oh I dropped the rook for free ah so bad and i'm losing on time yeah oh my god So I'm going to lose my 3,000 again. This hurts. GG CH24 dropped under 3,000. Damn. This hurts. Now I got to beat a 20, 2,900. All right, let's go fishing. Oh, man, this hurts. Dropped twice under 3,000 and crossed 3,000 today. Mr. Japanese Tutor, what's up? Good to uh, good to see you, man. Today is a really tough banter and playing very strong players. Um, no one is challenging, so I'm going into the pool, getting those uh, really strong players, and uh, let's play, Mr. Manuel. Hopefully, he will make a move. No move. Okay, let's go into the pool again. Let's go into the pool again. Let's go fishing. Try to find a player. Okay, got the same guy. All right. I'm not losing to him twice. Not losing to him twice. Uh, okay, let's go here. Let's play fast this time. I was down on time last time. I was down on time last game. Okay, let's take here. I think I'm supposed to go here. And knight h5 is an idea. At least that's what I remember. Uh, okay, let's go knight h5 here now that he played this. I really want to go knight h4. I feel that knight h4 is the right idea. And I could even combine it with some bishop a6 later on. I hope I can uh, take my revenge. Get my revenge here. Okay, let's go here. Can he go queen e3 though? Queen e3, 96, and then b5? Or can I just play e5? 
but I don't like giving him this square over here. Um, okay, let, let, let's just go back. And I'm going to try to push b5 next move. B, b5 and c4 is the idea here. I mean, not an e6 is okay. It can always bounce back. He goes here. Can I go? Can I go here? And then when he moved the knight, the idea is that he can't move. Yeah, he can move to e3. So now I think I'm doing fine. Uh, I could at least take. I think I can take and play e5 or something. This should be okay for me. Uh, whenever he plays f4, just take and he has an isolated pawn. Although he has a4. Uh, again, uh, this uh, those tactics today are not on point. Bishop a6. Is there any kind of tactics here? Bishop Bishop d3, knight a5. Knight takes 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 queen takes c3 is an idea. He goes back. Uh, I can take this and take that. Okay, so the knight is under attack. He has to find a square. It is not that easy to find a square for the knight. So rook d1, rook d8. Bishop b2, queen c2. He goes rook here. Can I go to knight b3? Or just... Uh, uh, that, that's kind of annoying to face. Because he's playing bishop b2 next. Okay, let's go here. If he takes, I can take on e4. He goes here. Let's take here. Let's play rook here. Or knight here, should I say. And then... Uh, rook here. Can he save it? Is he in trouble here? Rook c1 takes takes rook d4. Or rook c1 takes takes bishop h6. That's pretty good for me. I think he's dropping some material here. Oh, feels good. Feels good. Okay, good. Uh, I took my revenge here. That was a, that was a cool game. That was a pretty cool game. All right, uh, Mr. Master Jam is challenging. Master Jam, let's give you a game. All right, good luck to you. I played d6 earlier, I think. Let's play g6 now. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, let's try this line. It's a funny line. I think knight, knight b5, I got check over here. And I think he has to play knight here. And then I simply play, I simply play knight f6, threatening to take here. And then he has to play queen d2 or something. Okay, it's just castles. And then d6. And can I go bishop e6 and rook here? Okay, let's take here. Rook c8, threatening to take the pawn. Uh, can I play here? Do I have any sacks here? Maybe not. So let's play a6 first. Rook c1, can I play b5? b5 takes, takes, bishop, oh, knight takes, if, if they get this in the end. Maybe. I'm too lazy to calculate, so let's just do it. If it's bad, it's bad. If it's bad, it's bad. I'm going to live with myself. Okay, let's take here. Knight takes, queen takes, and this pawn is loose. Uh, this is a mistake. This is definitely a mistake. Now I can get the bishop. I get two pieces for rook, which is uh, pretty bad for him. Okay, takes, I'm gonna take here. Threatening a2, if he plays a4, I take here. Uh, take care, Zia. Always good to see you. 
Uh, can I play queen a6 or should I just trade? I guess trading makes sense. Knight d7. Uh, let's take here. And uh, maybe just king g7 or knight c5. Knight c5 is good. It blocks the column. Uh, rook a3. e5. Interesting. Can I play queen b6 here? Uh, that's a good move. That's a good move, unfortunately. Okay, let's go here. He takes. I'm going to take like this. And then he has to hold on to this pawn. My knight is not really well placed here. I kind of regret my decision to put the knight on c5. Maybe knight f6 would have been better. I don't really like the knight over here. Now he has to play a move like a rook here. Maybe I play queen b6, drive the king. Oh, but this makes me happy. I think I can just take here. I can take here. Can I take here? No, I can't. Uh, the knight is kind of misplaced. So let's just go here for now. I will reroute my knight somewhere. Um, this should be enough. And then I just go rook b2 and I control his pawn. Maybe knight e5 would have been better, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go rook b2. And then we'll have some fun with knight d5 and knight f4. Yeah, knight d5 forces the rook to move. And knight, knight f4 is devastating. Now I get this. And this is pretty much game over. He is in uh, some mating nets after this. He played real well for 1300. Impressive. All right. Good game. Um, we've got Knight Errant challenging. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Probably going to play uh, d6 this time. Oh no, I got a bad opening earlier. <laughs> Is he going to do that to me again? I had a bad opening against uh, knight e2. Okay, a4, I'm just going to go here. d6. He takes, I take back, and then I play d5. Uh, okay, let's play d5. Just uh, castles. And I guess I'm going to put a bishop to b7 in this game. Uh, because again, we've had a game before where white had the bishop on this side of the board. And with the bishop on b7, it's very hard for him to uh, to challenge my, uh, my bishop. So I'm going to... Oh, I wish I had b6 played already. I don't like this. This is kind of annoying. Um, what should I do here? You know what? I'm going to go back here just so that his bishop is awkward. I want to keep some pieces on the board as well. Queen of three is coming though. He is a little bit annoying. I'm not going to lie to you guys. He's a little bit annoying. But uh, I'm going to get him back. Okay, I'm going to go here and uh, play bishop b7. And then my bishop will be very happy here. Knight f5 coming. Try to attack him. If he plays queen g4, I play h5. No matter what, I think I'm just playing h5 and knight f5. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And uh, where is his queen going? He goes here. I'm really not scared of 96. Okay, let's just go here. 96, I just take it. I don't think it's dangerous. This is really not dangerous. I just take it and I take this. And this is a free pawn. And it's more than a free pawn because my knight, my knight on h4 will uh, really do some damage here.
Yeah. Um, okay, what's going on here? How do I finish it? Bishop e5 looks like a good move. I think the priority here is just to get um, my king to g7 and my rook to h8. <coughs> my bishop is uh, also doing a super great job not allowing the rook to come to h1. And I got some, uh, some mating nets here. He goes here. Can I just take this? I guess I can just take this. If he takes here, I take here. And I'm just up a piece. If he takes here, I can just take the bishop. Yeah, now I take this. And I'm just up a piece. And life is good. Life is good. Bishop here, this got to be very, this is a very funny move, okay? Well, let's just take this guy, check. And what is the quickest mate here? What is the quickest mate? Bishop here is really close to me. I'm threatening rook here mate. Let's take here and threatening rook here, mate. Okay, GG, Mr. Knight Errant. We got Drasp challenging 1200. Whoa, those low ratings are really dangerous. Okay, let's play e4. Let's play e4. Let's see what he's got. Mr. Drasp, are you here? Don't be scared. Just make a move. Just make a move. Mr. Drasp is not here. I'll give him uh, maybe 10 more seconds to make a move. And if not, I'm going to have to uh, to go fishing again in the pool. And try to cross 3,000 again. All right. Three, two, one. Sorry, buddy. Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. Okay, a uh, twenty-seven hundred. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, am I being trolled here? Comes to here. A4. Uh, can I play A5 here? I'm just going to chill here. Okay, D5. I'm going to take like this. I want to play E5 here. Can I play E5? It feels right. It feels right with bishop c4 and rook d1 incoming. Yeah, so now I play here and I really have a great game. I really have a great game here. Bishop d7, rook d1. And then knight d7, he's not really threatening much. Wait, can I take here? Uh, wait a sec. What are the, what are the tactics here? Uh, let's play h4. I want to play h5. If he plays h5, I just go here and I win immediately. And he doesn't have knight f6, which is really fortunate for me. So maybe h5 is a very strong threat here. Let's see what he does. Okay, let's play here. If he takes, I'm going to play e6 and knight h4. He takes here. Oh, he wants to take here. Okay, that wasn't too smart. But I maybe I have some check. I have some checks nonsense. <laughs> we'll see what happens. 
we'll see what happens here. Uh, maybe he's going to take first, but then I take knight moves and I, yeah, now I take here. Knight moves, I check here. This is a very important check because the king goes on a very awkward square. So I'm just up a piece here. I'm just up a piece here. I think I'm doing very great. Although I didn't see that, but um, I think he missed the fact that when he takes here, I got check and then I saved the knight. G5, interesting. Can you play knight f7 and queen e6? That should be good. Okay, let's go here. Queen e6, and then if he moves the knight, queen g6 check. If he trades queen, I'm practically winning. I think this is pretty good for me. Bishop d4 check. I can almost take it, although I can't. Uh, am I getting made up? Just making sure that I'm not. So take here, take here, up a piece. I'm just going to convert this. Queen e9. Yeah, we'll, we'll see where he puts his pieces. King here. Uh, do I get knight d6? Knight d6 is pretty good. Rook here is forced, then I can take. Knight d5. Just uh, trading some pieces. I can I could take here, but I don't want to. Let's just go here. Bishop e3 next. Okay, I should have should have been more careful, but I think this is good too. Check here. Let's play bishop c4. Check and check. He goes here. Um, let's play check. Um, check. Rook here. Now I get this pawn probably. Let's play g3. Oh, I allowed f3. That wasn't too good. Okay, let's just go here now. Um, bishop here. Bishop here. Take this guy. Let's go here. And just flag him. I just flag him here. Should be a relatively easy flag. All right, Mr. Dr. Hazi. This is uh, this is pretty good. Seven points for this. I can almost hope to to cross, but Mr. Jazzy Chess is challenging. All right, let's do it. All right, uh, let's play something different, or will it transpose? We'll see. Knight f6, threatening this. Okay. I want to play super aggressive this game. If he takes, I'm going to play queen a5. Hope for the best. If not, I'm just going to take and transpose to a good dragon. So queen a5, threatening to, uh, to take on e4. Okay, let's take this pawn. Knight c6. Although my queen is not doing super well on this square. 
Um, okay, let's bring it back here. Knight b5, queen b8, and a6 is probably best. Can probably take here and play knight d4. Takes, I'm gonna take like this. My pawn is uh, very well supported by uh, the bishop, while his pawn, it's not that easy. Not that easy. Queen here. Uh, he wants to play bishop here, I guess. Uh, can I go here? And bishop f6. Uh, bishop here. I don't want to play f5, though. So I'm going to have to play rook here first, and maybe b5, bishop b7, or just b6. Uh, c4, interesting. Now, do I take or do I play e6? e6 is really interesting. Um, okay, let's go here. Takes, bishop takes. Um, okay, now it's really dangerous. Now the position is really getting dangerous. Let's play here. d6, queen d7. So I don't want him to have control of d5. I want him to take. So if he takes, rook takes. Uh, or can I even take here first? Takes, queen takes, and then the bishop, yeah, bishop is defended. What a blunder. Now I'm completely winning. Okay, now I'm just going to push here. And I'm going to collect this pawn probably. Okay, just take here, uh, g4, king here, I'm um, just going to play bishop here. I mean, rook here would have been better, but whatever. It doesn't really matter at this point. I'm just trying to trade pieces and win. Let's take this guy. And let's play check when he attacks me. King g6, probably. Move away from danger. And probably rook c8 just to attack the pawn. Rook takes here. d2. Rook here. Threatening bishop here. Uh, okay, let's go here. And now I get the g2 pawn. Be careful not to allow any kind of stalemate here. And this should be game over. Jazzy Chess, good game. Good game, Mr. Jazzy Chess. Whoa, it's already, uh, whoa, 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 time flew today. Okay, bullet time. Guys, uh, let's, uh, let's play some bullet. I still have about, let's say, five minutes to play some bullet with you guys. Uh, challenge me 1-0. I'm going to go into the pool first to find some, uh, some bullet games. But uh, other than that, you guys send your bullet challenge and we'll finish, off, finish it off like this. Sorry. Um, so you guys send 1-0. I'm going to try to find a game meanwhile. Uh, but as soon as someone challenges 1-0, I will uh, I will take it. We got about five minutes left today. It was really fun. I dropped twice under 3,000, crossed once. At the end of the day, I am still not a 3,000, but it's okay. I think uh, my real strength is really around that rating. Uh, GM Trio is challenging 1,500. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Uh, best of luck to you, buddy. I'll give you a game or two, depending how interesting they are. 
Nothing failed. So, okay, four pawns attack. You are too slow, buddy. You have to move faster. It's a bullet game. Okay, let's take this guy. Rook e8, knight d2, a6, a4, knight bd7, castles. He's going to play rook b8, knight h5. I don't think this is too good. I'll take three pawns. Uh, here, he wants to play knight here, maybe. Let's play f5. Uh, queen here, just to defend and play knight f3 next move. Bishop g5 is a threat to win the queen. Bishop f4, maybe. He resigns. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, good game, Mr. GM Trio. Knight Aaron wants to play. All right. Let's play. I beat him in Blitz earlier today. Okay. Are you here, Mr. Knight Aaron? Are you here? Mr. Knight Errant, are you here or not? Uh, challenging me, challenges me bullet and then doesn't make a move. This is really sad. I can't finish a stream like this. I'm going to have to uh, find a bullet game. I really want to play bullet. People, challenge me. Whoa, okay, 2700 and bullet. Okay, this is really going to be a good challenge. All right, guys, my mouse is ready. Oh, no, 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 no. Why did you do that? Okay, Shahang, people are, are trolling me today. Okay, d3, knight f3. Is, is Shahang going to play? He's 2200 in Blitz. Definitely a decent player. Okay. Let's go here. C4. Take this guy, knight c3, oh, this is a free pawn, we will take free pawns, uh, rook b5, threatening this and that, oh, I didn't see this, okay, let's just give up an exchange, doesn't matter, I will just attack this pawn over here, bishop f4, uh, can I play Queen a4, threatening to take this pawn. Uh, okay, c4. Oh, he has g5. g5 is an annoying move to face. So let's take this because he gives it to me. Uh, can I play? What is this? Uh, that's a good move. Okay, let's go here. Let's take here. This should be game over very soon. Okay. Let's play check. Check. Take this guy. Okay. Let's uh, end it with a rematch. No rematch. Okay, Knight Errant. Let's play for real now. One game, Mr. Knight Errant. We'll finish it with him today. That was a really fun banter. Really challenging one. Kilimanjaro, what's up? You always show up late. You always show up at the end of my stream. Okay, let's go here. Rook B1. B4 maybe. Okay, B4. A4, let's say. Okay, let's go here. He is definitely not the fastest. And I feel that this game will be won on time and not over the board, unfortunately. Takes, I'm going to take here. Uh, 
All right, let's take here. Bishop d7 is expected. Okay, let's take over here. Uh, queen e1 looks good. The three queens, bishop g5. And that's game. GG, Mr. Knight Errant. All right, this is uh, the end of the banter. Uh, next banter will be Friday in about 48 hours. Uh, I think it's at 8 p.m. EDT, Eastern Time. Uh, check out the uh, the show's schedule. It was really fun to be with you guys. Dropped a little bit of rating today. It was a very late banter. Thanks for uh, everyone for uh, staying so late. And uh, I will see you guys on Friday. Have a good evening, guys. Talk to you soon.